vlog. I am up super early today. I am headed to Starbucks to go get a chai tea. And then I'm gonna go to Target, pick up a couple of items to make some French toast this morning because I woke up with a craving. And I gotta take Max for a bath. And then I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys my perfume samples. I have just been absolutely obsessed with fragrances ever since I discovered that there are more than designer fragrances on the market. I had no idea about niche fragrances. And let me tell you, it's changed my life. <laughs> I probably spent $225, $250 on samples. And you guys might be thinking, why? Why would you spend that much money? on samples when you can buy an actual fragrance. Because I am so selective, I am so picky, and perfumes give me headaches, nauseate me after a couple of hours. So if you're like me, if you go to the department store and you can't ever find anything that you love, then girl, try niche fragrances. Order samples are anywhere from like four to six dollars, and then for the higher end ones, they're like nine to 12 dollars, and you get a one milliliter vial. If you love fragrance, you're gonna love this video. Um, I also need to get a dress for, oh my gosh, there's a ball this weekend. Chris has taken me to a function. It's a fundraiser for domestic violence against women and it's for a great cause and um, I need something to wear. Dresses just run really long on me and I don't have time for alterations, so I need to find something. So hopefully we find something good. I don't really have a lot of time. I have to go to work. Uh, today and um, we'll see what we can get done. If you do enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And I also want to give you guys a reminder that this weekend is girls night. Ah! I put on my community page uh, for you guys to ask me the questions and I only have one person asking me a question so far. So if you want to participate in girls night, if you want to ask those girls night questions about relationships or dating, marriage, like whatever, anything, hygiene, perfumes, travel, like anything you can think of, please ask down below so that we can have a girls night. Cause if there's not any questions, we can't have the girls night. Comment, ask me, I'd love to answer your question. And you know what? Don't be shy because likely whatever you're going through, you're not alone and most women are going through the same thing. And if they haven't, they probably will in the future or have in the past and you'll be helping other women. And that's what this girls night is all about. Giving you guys a kind of cozy stay in relatable girls night at home. You don't have to leave your house to have a good time. Hi, can I have a tall chai tea latte with coconut milk, no water, no foam? If you want a stronger chai, like you like that spiciness, uh, for the hot ones, they do part water, part milk. So I always say no water. Oh, wow, so good. Max, they haven't seen you in a while. Say hello. Good morning. I have my Target order, so now we're gonna go home and make some French toast. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do it. I do a little custard style um, batter, I guess, to dip the bread in. I don't have any of that Texas toast, you know, that thick sliced uh, bread. But yeah, it's the custard that is key to making your French toast. Let's head home and make that. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Let me get myself situated. I'll start cooking. Our ingredients today are two eggs. We're only gonna use the egg yolk. I have some powdered sugar, vanilla extract, cinnamon, some bread, strawberries and bananas for topping with a little Cool Whip, and some heavy whipping cream.
Now I for one really like the sweet and savory combination. So I've got like the cinnamon and butter and sweetness on the egg whites. I'm probably gonna put syrup on the eggs too to each their own, right? Let's cut into it. Nice and crispy on the outer layer. Yum. That's the way to do it, guys. So good. Oh, full belly. That was so, so good and so satisfying. I love when you get to make something that you're craving. Just makes it even better. I'm opening up my laptop right now because I think... I'm going to be able to get a corset top from Amazon. I only have two, three days, something like that. I need to get something ASAP. I just don't feel like there's going to be anything in stores right now. And um, Amazon, I think, is the best bet. Let's see what else they have. Ooh, that's really pretty. And it has that cowl. This sweetheart neck corset is something. Let's see what that looks like in other colors. <gasps> Ooh, that's chic. The skirt that I have with the slits is more of a cream color as well. That might be something. Ooh, it's only $20. That's a nice fall color. Or even this dress, look at that. It's a corset style and it has straps. That's nice, so I can wear a bra underneath. It looks long enough, has a little slit. What's the back look like? Oh, very nice. That would look good on me, I think. Well, I'm gonna keep looking on here and if I find something, I really like that cream one. If I find something that suits me, I'll let you guys know, hopefully. <coughs> Cyrus Canis Lupus. Yeah, so I'll keep looking and I'll let you guys know what I come up with. I need to go pick up Max. He's about done at the groomers and then unfortunately I have to go get ready for work. So I'll see you guys after work, and then tonight we're going to do the sample uh, testing with all the fragrances. I'll see you soon. It is the next day. I thought that I would be able to finish the video yesterday, but I just need to know that after work, I'm done, I'm wiped, and I'm not going to be doing any vlogging. I have about two hours before I need to get to work, so I thought that I would go over these new fragrance samples with you guys. I am so excited for this. If you love perfume, this is gonna be so much fun. I do have two designer fragrances and then three others are niche fragrances. I'm gonna let you guys know the price, when and where I would wear these types of fragrances, all the information. I'm gonna start with just five and I think I'll just do like five per vlog until I get through all 40 or 50, however many I bought. Fragrance just speaks to me. This is my new hobby. I'm in love. Let's get started. The first one that I have is not a little sample size. It's actually a little roller ball. This is Skylar in the scent Salt Air. This was launched in 2020 and it's described to be a aquatic woody scent. It's supposed to replicate the beach and I think it does a very, very good job of doing so. It has a light coconut scent to it, which is really nice. It's a really beautiful, creamy coconut, so it's not overpowering at all. This is a very clean scent. This goes for $85 for 1.1 ounces. I got this for $20 on Amazon because I just wanted to try it, but I knew that I would like it. You know when you kind of read the notes and you're like, I think I would like that? Spot on, perfect for summer. I would even wear this in the springtime. It's definitely a signature scent. You can wear it every day, wear it anywhere, and it's not overpowering, it's not too much. It's airy, fresh, crisp. It kind of has that like clean laundry smell to it, but definitely elevated, definitely an expensive laundry. You can smell the sea salt as well, which is really nice, it's quite prominent. I think what I love about it the most is it gives you like that really happy, upbeat feeling. It shows that you take care of yourself, but effortlessly. Like you're not trying to do too much, but you definitely smell really good. Like this is a put together fragrance, everyday fragrance for uh, someone who doesn't wanna try too hard but wants to just smell delicious. It's very good. Now the next one I have is a favorite of, I don't know, everyone's and I'm definitely late to the game. This is Kaali's Vanilla 28. I did not think that I even liked vanilla. In fact, I thought I hated vanilla because I really dislike vanilla scented candles. 
I think it smells like very cheap. It's very overpowering. It's way too sweet. And so I was like, I am definitely not a vanilla girl. I was so wrong when it comes to fragrance. Like it's just different than scents in a candle. So if you never thought that you liked vanilla, I would definitely give it a chance. It has a really prominent patchouli smell too. So if you're into that, you're gonna love it. This was launched in 2018 and it's supposed to be a androgynous scent for men and women, but it's definitely leaning feminine to me. It's very sweet and vanilla-y. It's so addictive, so good. I don't even know why I'm trying to put the lid back on. I know I'm gonna be smelling it still. It's just a really like well-balanced, well-blended, more complex vanilla, not just straight vanilla, like an amber woody vanilla. I didn't know that the two mesh so well together. It's delightful. I, in fact, bought a big bottle from Sephora and it'll be here in two days. Definitely does not lack any depth. It's interesting, a most interesting vanilla. Um, I would say it's for every day. I would definitely wear it every day. That's why I got the big bottle. And the price point is really good too. You can get that for $118 at Sephora and you get the big uh, 3.4 ounce. I am mixing it with my next fragrance that is also a huge favorite, but brand new to me because I'm so late to the game. Maison Magiela Replicas Jazz Club, a cult favorite I know that has been all over the place for a long time, launched in 2013, right? Ooh, this scent is so good. It's actually a more masculine scent. I didn't think that I would like this because I typically go for a citrusy, fruity, a little bit floral, but not like super sweet, clean musk. And this is the complete opposite direction and I am loving it. It is so sexy. Mixed with the vanilla, oh, date night perfect for fall and winter. This is a tobacco done right in my opinion. Tobacco is another scent that I didn't think that I liked due to smelling candles, but in fragrance, definitely a favorite. It's comforting in a way. I want to wear this to downtown Chicago uh, to go to one of those supper clubs, have a date night with Chris, drink a little whiskey. Everyone's dressed up. You're watching a live show. It's intoxicating. I can also imagine just like curling up in a blanket and going outside when it's cold around a fire pit, sipping on a warm cocktail, a little hot toddy. It's cozy and like inviting in that way. The next one is by Byredo. It's another niche fragrance. It's called Celie. This was launched in 2019 and it's a good one. I can already tell when it's that color that reminds me of whiskey and bourbon that it's a perfect fall winter scent that I'm gonna love for date night. Like I already know. Oh. Oh, you guys, this is sexy. This is actually the extract. It's the most concentrated, most expensive version of the fragrance, and it's to die for. I actually wrote down how they describe this because I have my own words, but listen to what they said. They said it's a distinguished, smoky scent with an unbridled concentration of leather. And if that's not the most perfect description, I don't know what is. This to me smells like a super beautiful woman in a sexy leather jacket. The leather is done so well. I can tell there's a little bit of tobacco in here as well. So I'm learning that I really like tobacco, leather cords, and oak moss. This is my favorite one I think out of all of them. It's just addictive. This is something that I would wear if not on date night, then on a girl's night out because your girlfriends are going to be wearing most likely things that are a little bit floral, a little bit woody, a little citrusy. This is going to set you apart. This is for a very confident, bold seductress that has plans for her night and nothing's going to get in her way. This is sultry. Is this too strong to be a signature scent? Cause I want to smell like this every night and like ravish myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that too much? I don't care. It's so good. This scent is for a boss. Like you have to be a confident, badass boss to wear this. Oh wait, that Byredo, that goes for $335 for a 1.7 ounce bottle. It's expensive, but for me, a must have, must have. Did I say how much the Replica Jazz Club was? I think everybody knows. It was like $76 for the bottle. The next one is by Lee's Fragrance and it is called Bow. This is a good one, okay? This is an all-time favorite for the daytime when you wanna smell. Oh, 
really good. This was launched last year in 2021 and it's described to be an amber vanilla, but let me tell you, the vanilla is so light. It's very soft. It's like in the background. It, it creeps in there. It blends beautifully, but it's not in your face. I get first off like very woody. This smells expensive. This could be day or nighttime. I feel like this could be all year round. I would probably say thus far, this is the most complex vanilla fragrance that I've smelled. And I love the fact that there's so many different types of wood in here, but it's no musk. I don't like super musky fragrances. Not disappointed. I recommend this to everyone. Like I said, I think it'll be a real crowd pleaser because it's so well balanced and it's so like clean, but so woody, but then there's that vanilla and you can wear it any time of day, any season. So good. I'd wear that during the day, every day of my life. And then that Pyredo in the evening. And I would just be the sexiest person alive. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it for fragrance, you guys. Like I said before, I'm brand new to the fragrance game. Um, so let me know in future videos if you guys want me to describe them more uh, in terms of notes or in terms of like who would wear it and when. I kind of just did a variety of both. I don't know what you guys prefer, but yeah. In the next vlog, I will include some fragrances that I tried that I did not like because there are plenty of those as well that are just too perfumey, too musky, no, thank you. Also, I ended up picking out my dress that I'm gonna be wearing to the ball, and she's a scandalous one. <laughs> I don't typically wear like really sexy dresses because I don't like to show my body too much, but Chris has been asking me lately to kind of step it up, I guess, in the sex appeal department. I've been getting a little frumpy lately when I'm not on camera, like just, getting um, too comfortable, I think, especially when we go out, I don't really dress as sexy as I used to, and he really misses that, and I wanna be able to give him those same feelings that I used to. I don't want the relationship to get stale and get boring, you know how that can be. So to spice it up, I got myself a really sexy navy blue velvet dress, and she's a short one, and I don't typically show my legs because I'm so short, but I got a pair of stilettos. I think they're like five, yeah, five inch platform. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a hooker. <laughs> but I have a really chic cream colored long jacket that I'm gonna wear over it that I think will add a little elegance to it. And I'm definitely gonna wear one of my expensive perfumes. Did I even tell you guys how much that Lee's bow is? I'm so bad at this already. I tried to write down the prices so I wouldn't forget. $290 for the 2.5 ounce. I'm back from work. I'm all sweaty and ick. I need to go take a shower, but I am so hungry. So I just popped a little microwave dinner in. These are the Amy's Mexican casserole thing. I like this and the uh, enchiladas are pretty good. So we're just gonna have a quick dinner and then shower. And then I guess I need to work on some editing so I can get this video out ASAP. Jason's at work and I think Roman ate already. So just a little something for myself. Ooh, ooh. Gosh. Okay. Now I finally got myself together. I played with the doggos for just a few minutes. I don't have my mic right now, so I hope the audio is okay. Um, Cyro is in the kennel now. Max is playing outside. I am going to enjoy something on the television oh Ooh, that's good my back i'm gonna do a little stretching after i eat too but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i had fun as usual don't forget you can always follow me on instagram don't forget to leave me a comment i need questions for girls night we can't have a girls night if we only have a couple questions i mean we can but the more the merrier please ask me anything you want no judgment and that'll be this Saturday. So follow me on Instagram, it's linked below. You guys have an awesome rest of your evening and I'll see you next time.